This episode starts out with Rainbow Dash being named a hero. Okay, not counting the other two times that she previously helped save the world from supervillains, but anyway. In this particular case, it starts out naturally enough. Rainbow just happens to be nearby when she spots someone in a bad situation and she swoops in to help. After this happens a few times though, she quickly becomes addicted to the attention she receives and starts getting a super inflated ego. This is highlighted when a hot air balloon falls from the sky and Rainbow decides to take her time giving autographs before coming to the rescue. Thankfully, a costumed hero intervenes, and I say thankfully because even though Rainbow actually actually does have time to rescue the girl in danger, she ends up missing her target and goes plummeting to the ground along with the balloon. This new hero is called Merdewell, and as time goes by, she ends up bailing Rainbow Dash out of several bad situations that usually begin with Rainbow again failing to save the day when she overestimates her own abilities. And considering how often the two run into each other, Rainbow becomes convinced that Merdewell is only there to make her look foolish, and when her friends also begin singing Merdewell's praises, it only helps piss her off even more. Meanwhile, it seems that the entire town has turned its back on Rainbow Dash as well, including Scootaloo. I mean, damn, what does that say when your most obsessed fan stops giving a shit about you? Rainbow finally reaches her breaking point when the town holds a parade for Merdewell, and she shows up challenging the hero to take her mask off in front of everyone. This leads to a long chase sequence through the town. And is it just me, or did the streets feel eerily abandoned here? Rainbow still can't get a fix on her target, though, as Merdewell seems to be in several places at once. She finally pins down the hero, and finds out that it's Pinkie Pie, followed by two more Merdewells who are actually Applejack and Twilight. Just as Rainbow Dash begins questioning her own sanity, Twilight explains what's been going on. That Rainbow's bragging was getting out of hand, and they created Merdewell to show that it's possible to do good things while still being humble. And Rainbow replies, Oh, I guess I just didn't get it earlier while I was being humiliated and abandoned and generally feeling like crap, but actually hearing it in words that you probably should have used earlier, that makes a lot more sense. And meanwhile, I'm assuming the rest of the town is just sitting around at the parade waiting for Merdewell to come back, because apparently that's how parades work in Equestria. I don't know. Look, this is the second episode in a row that tries to put Rainbow Dash's ego in check, and unfortunately, it's also the second episode in a row that fails at it. The problem before was that in May the Best Pet Win, Rainbow was so mean and thoughtless that it seemed out of character. This time, though, she's actually behaving just like I would expect her to. This is the well-meaning but cocky Rainbow Dash that I was talking about. Throughout the episode, I never doubted that she wanted to do good things and get positive attention for it. She just gets a bit too full of herself. Is there a lesson? to be learned? Of course. Letting her ego get in the way of saving lives is a very serious problem, but the bigger issue with this episode is the way that her friends handle the situation, and it really is captured right in this moment at the end. Rainbow Dash is a direct communicator, so if they had just confronted her in private and spoken directly about the problem, it would have been a lot more effective than repeatedly putting her down and hoping she'd absorb some vague symbolic message. If you really feel it's necessary to take her down a notch, I can understand maybe doing that once or twice, but to the point that she actually starts questioning her own self-worth, that's just low. And to that end, I would also recommend checking out the Merdewell review by CR on That Guy With The Glasses, as he makes a number of great points about how hypocritical the other characters are throughout the episode. Though it basically boils down to them doing a lot of the same things they're accusing Rainbow Dash of doing, but actually being less honest about it than she is. As for Merdewell herself, what can I say? I'm a sucker for superheroes. I love the design, and I also like the basic idea behind the character. I just wish that she had been used better in regard to Rainbow Dash, since ultimately she has the opposite effect of what was intended. Even if you want to argue that they were trying to piss her off, Rainbow still doesn't learn anything from the experience until everyone fesses up and talks to her. In the end, though, I actually enjoyed this episode, even if it's only for pony superheroes and Rainbow Dash being believably in character. But there are some serious problems with the other characters, which in turn creates a problem with the lesson being presented at the end. Much like Mystery on the Friendship Express, which came later, this is another case where fun ideas conflict with poor writing and characterization. The Mysterious Meredewell gets a 5 out of 10.